Well, that's another thing to see the video. So. <laughs> a lot of Kelly. <laughs> wow. So why did you decide to put them out right now? Uh-huh. Well, I, I've been a part of a lot of uh, social media events, and um, I haven't seen a lot that have really dealt with the unique challenges that corporations are facing. Especially, I work for Intel, so you know we have 80,000 employees. How do we empower them, you know, worldwide to, be, to feel free to go out and engage in social media? So, um, really felt like the content of this particular conference was geared toward that, and it, it really got um, into some of the deep challenges that we we all face as we're in companies today. Of it. You know, it's not um, stacked with a lot of, you know, buzzwordy social media thought leaders and, and experts out there. Not that they aren't of value, but I think that there are unique challenges we face when we're dealing with it every day in the trenches. So that's really what drew me to, drew me to the conference. Yeah. So if there was one thing that you would love to see come out of this conference, just about the a lot of issues, you know, just facing the privacy and, um, you know, just trying to figure all this out, one thing that you would want to get out of this? You know, this sounds really trite and sort of stale, but um, I'm really anxious to network with all of the people who do what I do every day. And, um, you know, we, it, it, you build some camaraderie when you are all facing some of the similar challenges and can talk about different ways that each, each organization has approached it. Um, I think that, you know, in my experience, um, you know, whereas Microsoft might be farther down the road or SAP down the road in building their community site, maybe they haven't done as much as uh, another organization has in terms mm -hmm. of, you know, legal and privacy issues. So, um, you know, having a, a rich, diverse group of folks from companies uh, worldwide has been helpful, and I love networking with those people. So, so then maybe you can start a, or they'll start an organization for operations in social media, because it's not oh, It's a great idea, actually. <laughs> there you have yeah. it. We're starting it. Hey, yeah. <laughs> right. Such a fresh idea. <laughs> Facebook and, and users, and on a corporate level, in terms of how to use, gauge, and how to monitor the privacy of, or the, the, the tweets that are coming from employees. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have people tweeting for you. How do you do that? How, what's the standard at Intel? Yeah. Um, also, we've we've set up some infrastructure that really helps to support that. So you know, we have training and guidelines that are very specific. Um, that let employees know what, what's expected of them and, you know, where, where they uh, probably need to stop. Uh, you know, a lot of people uh, you know, don't know this, but the SEC considers if you're out there and you work at a company and you are talking about something that um, you've gained that expertise at the company, even if you say you're not representing the company, you are. So, um, you know, anybody can have that caveat and it's, you know, really irrelevant, actually because you are seen as the mouthpiece of a company. So, um, you know, just keeping our employees educated, and uh, we have an ongoing communication forum um, and ways to, inter you know, um, reach them kind of real time. So um, that's kind of how we've been approaching it. And it's been working, apparently. Uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely working. Mm -hmm. And I also think, you know, from a marketing perspective, um, you know, we target various different demographic groups based on, you know, how they use Intel products. And truthfully, um, younger folks and, you know, the younger consumers stay, they don't really have the same privacy concerns so much, good or bad. <laughs> 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 yeah, some of the, you know, people who uh, might be of an older generation, so it's, you know, trying to understand that as well mm -hmm. and make sure that you can communicate with them in the way that they prefer to be communicated. And what's Intel's Twitter address? Um, well, we have a couple of them. just at Intel. Um, mm -hmm. That's run by my friend Ken Kaplan at okay. PR. And um, actually, we have a really cool one, Intel Inside. And that's someone that you can reach out to for customer service. Um, you know, his name is Clayton, and he often helps people when they're trying to, you know, to decide, should I get a netbook or a laptop? Um, you know, what, what sort of processing speed do I know? He's able to talk to consumers who may not have a lot of that technical background and help people there. So those are the two ones I'd recommend. And mine, Kelly R. Feller. But. Okay. Uh, well, you know, we're going to send out a tweet. We're going to send out a tweet in, in, just awesome. for you. <laughs> you tell us what that tweet to be. Um, well, follow along with the content because I really do think that it's uh, pretty amazing okay. and rich here oh, at, the, at the conference. So follow the hashtag. What is it? Uh, Sound CSM10. Yep. Sound CSM10. There you go. Great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And what's the next panel that you're?